Now we're looking at fats. So fats are going to be things like your cheeses, dairy and non-dairy. The calorie on this one is, this one's actually an exception to the rule. It's a little bit more carbs. It's eight grams of carbs and five grams of fats and no protein. Usually the, the dairy cheeses and non-dairy cheeses is going to be more fats. Like our chow cheese here, it's four and a half grams of fats and four grams of carbs. Our fresh kicking cashew cheese, the macros on that is two grams of carbs, one gram of protein and eight grams of fat for two tablespoons. So that's definitely the majority of the calories are coming from fats. Our cream cheeses, sometimes an exception to the rule, especially if it's a non-dairy cream cheese. Protein is one, the carb is four, and the fats are seven. So this one um, is a majority of a fats food. And fats are important, fats are good. They help with hormone regulation. They also help with digestive health. So fats are gonna be very important. I never ever take an athlete below 35 grams of fat unless it's something that we're pushing for like a bodybuilding competition. It's only for a very, very short period of time because we do not want to screw up our hormones by not getting enough fats. Dietary fats are so important in the body and you can also do them very nutritionally. So you can do a lot of nuts like almonds, whole food of a regular pea. And we also have really super healthy for you, uh, Brazil nut. Those are gonna be great for selenium. They're gonna pair well with your vital wheat gluten to make a complete protein. You've got your sunflower kernels. Those pair well with your soy proteins to make a even more complete protein. So the seeds for the sunflowers, any kind of seeds. We've got chia seeds, they're nine grams of fats, 13 grams of carbs and five grams of protein. So a bit more of a shakedown, but definitely a significant amount of fats. Any of your seed butters are gonna be fats. This one has eight grams of fats, four grams of carbs and two grams of protein. So we've got your peanut butter packets or your almond butter packet. So those are gonna be fats. There's 17 grams of fats in this one packet. Hazelnut butter is going to be a fat. Biscoff butter is one of my favorite fats. Oh, it's so tasty. Peter Pan peanut butter is a fat. Um, I guess it has 16 grams of, pro of fat and eight grams of protein, but the bigger number is fats and seven grams of carbs. You can also get the ground peanuts from Whole Food and make it um, peanut butter there as well. There is also a vegan sour cream. That is the majority of calories are coming from fats at five grams of fat, two grams of carbs and one gram of protein. Chocolates, those are fats. I love the Enjoy Life. The Hue, this one's the pumpkin spice. It's delicious. And the, this one's a Trupo Treats chocolates. Those are all the majority of calories are fats. Coconut, that's gonna be a fat. This is 19 grams of fats, two carbohydrates and two proteins for half a cup. There's three servings in this bag. Alexa, what's 19 times three? 19 times three is 57. So there's 57 grams of fat in here. That's a lot of fats. Ice cream is gonna be a fat. There's 15 grams of fat in here. It also does have 31 grams of carbs. So I guess you're technically gonna call it a carb, but 15 grams of fat in one serving is quite a bit if you're in a dieting phase. And two grams of protein. If you're going for the Ben and Jerry's, there's 16 grams of fat, 43 grams of carbs, five grams of protein. So yes, it's mostly a carb, but there is a significant amount of fats in there. MTC oil is a fat and I like this oil for muscle building. It was something that I used to incorporate into my very first uh, bodybuilding regimen. And um, especially even as a vegan, uh, I've incorporated it into my preps. Extra virgin oil, you know, use it really, really sparingly because one tablespoon isn't very much. And in that one tablespoon, it is 14 grams of fat, which is gonna be quite significant. And also you don't feel very full from a tablespoon of oil. I mean, you could throw that on your food and 
really not even notice the difference satiety wise so that's why you should really use oil sparingly especially if you're in a dieting phase and then also it's just not great for your health and then of course coconut oil any kind of like eating cooking oils salad dressing oils they're gonna be the majority of their calories are coming from fats dietary fats are great they're really good for you it's good to have your fats but make sure they're in moderation when we break down your calories it's usually going to be 25 to 35 percent of fats and a gram per pound of protein and then the rest of the calories coming from carbs so I hope that was really helpful and informational. And if you have any questions, please reach out to me. Let me know. The next video is going to be how to plan your macros. And after you watch that video, we will have a video consult where you plan your own macros with the groceries that are in your pantry and give you the tools to make your own meal plan.